Joining us now from Oregon, Canada, we have uh, Eric Barkley. Always fun when I get to talk <laughs> bugs and pests, uh, and uh, we're seeing a lot of that. I mean, this is a certain time of year where we're seeing certain things in our backyard and amongst our trash, uh, yes. and you've got some great information for us going everywhere from the flies to the bed bugs. Yes. Everything's covered today. Exactly. In the summer, you get a lot of humidity, a lot of heat. It creates a, a very dynamic time for insects to be, uh, their populations to spike. So I feel like the population <laughs> of the flies right now have just, it has increased. They just seem to be everywhere, like in the house, uh, around the food, around the garbage. It is true. And, and flies really need to be controlled because they're, uh, they are a transmitter of bacteria. They're landing on some garbage and then they're coming over and landing on your burger. You don't want that. So you have to understand that flies are more of a symptom of a problem. And that's that there's a breeding environment that needs to be cleaned up and sanitized. So a lot of that uh, can be around your garbage or your compost. Uh, you're looking for any place that um, maybe there's some animal droppings or even a, a, an animal that may have died around your home. Okay. So you want to make sure that's cleaned up and uh, all your windows and your patio doors are screened. Okay, there's also some products that can help with this yeah, too. Yeah, if so, if you've missed out on controlling them to start, one thing you can do is that once they're inside the house, they're going to be attracted to uh, light. They're going to be flying towards your windows. So one thing you can do, this is kind of a big one, but you mm -hmm. can get all sorts of different uh, types of this. This is a fly strip. You put this in your window and it'll help uh, control the flies that way. They they're go towards the light and they'll get mm -hmm. caught on that fly strip. and. Uh, there, you'll be able to deal with them that way. Okay, that's one way. Sometimes you ought to call the pros in. What are we looking at here? Cause this is well, when, definitely when there's wasps involved, you should consider uh, hiring a professional exterminator that has the right equipment and the right experience. So wasp nests can get quite large. Hornets and wasps are, uh, they're not like bees where they're just pollinators. And our company tries to be sensitive to bee populations mm -hmm. as well. But when it does come to wasps, they can sting multiple times. A lot of people have allergies. So uh, it's good to call in regards to a wasp nest. Now, if you're just finding that they're um, around your barbecue or around your patio, you can also consider getting a, uh, a trap in which will help control them. So this has just got an attractant in. You can hang it from a tree. There's a few different types of these as well. And this will uh, draw them away, hopefully, from your uh, from your dinner. At least some of the effort being made so you can enjoy your, uh, exactly, enjoy dinner out on, on yeah. the patio for sure. Okay, then we're getting into a, a different subject. Uh, yes. And I'm realizing just with the amount of travel that people are doing, going into hotels and motels, this is when you're seeing the transference and, and the bed bugs kind of yes. going from one area to another. Yeah, so bed bugs are something that um, they're, uh, they're, they hide very effectively and you can pick them up without knowing them. They're really good at hitchhiking on your luggage and on your clothes. So when you're staying at a hotel, just maybe a few tips that I could provide is that when you go into a hotel, you can use a metal luggage rack. Take a quick look at it and then you can use that to put your, <clears throat> your suitcase on and such. Not on the bed. Not on the bed. That's where they're going to be crawling around. So that'll help make sure it's not touching the wall and such. Then um, when you come home as well, you can always unpack your clothes and out of the luggage bag and in a garage or a separate room. And if you're concerned, you can always run any clothes and articles of uh, clothing through the dryer for 20 minutes and that should uh, eliminate them. Anything to do with the luggage, a wipe down or? Yeah, you can do a close inspection and then um, keeping it out of your main house can help, especially um, if you, throughout the year, sometimes the weather conditions of the, uh, will help uh, eliminate them as well. Just leave them outside. Exactly. Okay, and but there are some uh, products you can do that the covers on the bed. Yeah, Orkin really recommends using mattress and uh, box spring encasements. These are certified bed bug uh, safe. So they encase your mattress completely and um, they're, they're effective for um, protecting your investment and some of your mattresses and, and box springs can be quite expensive. So they stop initial infestations with bed bugs getting onto the seams and into the, into the uh, bedding and as well they uh, stop the spread of them if there's any activity so and, they're, and they help any sort of uh, detection too because they're white they're sealed so if you did have a problem they're easy to detect right away so, well there's some tons of information i know we don't we don't have time to get to uh, these uh, nifty scientific little treats here but a lot of people can check out more information at orkincanada.com.ca uh, again orkincanada.ca thanks for all the information okay, eric thanks, appreciate man. that